Hello, my name is Winfried Hamann from EWM in Germany. I want to introduce today our Tetrix 230 AC-DC with the new Comfort 2.0 panel with some new features. We have now two display on the left side. You can see the amperage on the right side the voltage or job number or welding power. Now I want to explain a little bit how you can select the welding task. It's much easier and comfortable with this panel. You say I select trigger mode with this button 2D or 40 then I select the parameters with this click wheel. It's also much comfortable. I will, here you can turn with knob, we can it's setting the power through the click wheel. I can select all other parameters. We can start here with the gas flow, gas preflow time. Start current, upslope time, I click, the LED is blinking, then I can select the parameter and so on and so on. Base current, downslope time, current, gas post flow time and again we start again and this parameter we can also select with these two buttons we can backward and forward that you can select easier the parameter that's our from the selection for this parameter then i can set here the welding mode dc minus ac AC for aluminum welding, we have three different possibilities. Square arc, trapeze arc, and sinus form. And in the AC mode, we have also the possibility for a balling function. It means we can create the right ball in the tip of the electrode. And the energy for that, I can select here also with the click wheel. And if I have set the energy, I can, I go back to the AC and then I can start with welding. With this button, I can select jobs. The job mode, job zero, up to seven. That means we have eight jobs in the machine. And in job zero, if I have select AC in job zero, I can setting the AC parameters with these three knobs. On the right side is the frequency, the middle, the balance, on the right potentiometer, diameter of electrode. It means if you select the diameter, let me say 2.0 another energy, ignition energy, as with 3.0. That is also a nice feature in this machine. And if you select job one, up to seven, in this case, you can select AC parameters in digital mode. Here you see the, freq uh, the balance. And now we have here select automatic it means the frequency will be works in automatic mode it's depend of the current in the machine the, 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 the frequency will be changed if the, if you increase or decrease the current the automatic mode can switch off if you turn this button on the right side then you can select the frequency manually from 50 up to 200 Hertz, as you see in the display. So, then I can 
go forward and change all other parameters. Now it's ready for welding in AC mode, it means aluminum. So that's are all function what I can select directly in the front of the panel. Now uh, I have explained the function in the front of the display and uh, the next step is some parameters or interesting parameters for setting in the background menu. For this I must switch off the machine, I must press the click wheel, switch on the machine and on the right display we see A and D and now I can select special parameters. Let me say here I can select torch mode, I click and then I can different kind of torch mode from its, its numbers from 1 up to 4 and 11 up to 14. That it's also described in the manual of the machine. It is easy to re select it if you read this manual and uh, this 11 trigger mode it's without tip function. It means if I weld and I in the 40 mode and I switch off, then the current or the arc is directly off. If I have select torch mode 1, press the button in the 40 mode, the arc will be start and I press it too fast or only for a short time then the current will be go in the base, from the peak to the base, from peak to the base. So that's some welders prefer this mode that switch off directly after the pressing the button. So then I select this one. That now I select the configuration menu. It means that there are some special parameters. Here is you see ABS, that means absolute parameters. If I select this on off or on, then I have in this case the base current, start current and end current. I see it in the real amperage parameters. If I switch it off, then I have the parameter, the start current, base current and end current, I have it in percentage values. And this is also an interesting parameter for pulse welding. If you switch it on, we will see it if I go out of the menu. And I have select now the pulse mode. Then I see you now two LEDs are on. It means it's a peak current and a base current. And I change now the parameter that it's the average value. That it's much easier for welders. They must weld if they have a WPS uh, document. Then you have all that it's a the real parameter if you weld it in pulse mode. That it's a very interesting fun new function in this power source or in this, uh, uh, with this panel. I switch in the standard well. If I select now the spot arc function, it's also nice function for spot arc prepare sheets for welding I make also some spots on the sheets press button press button press button all the time and this time I select the set here I can set the time from 
point zero one second up to twenty second. It is up to the application. But normally, or the target is that you use a very short time and with a high current. That it's the time, and then the current will be set here. That it's spot arc with HF ignition and spotmatic. It's a function. It's also with HF ignition, but in this mode, it's not necessary that you press every time the trigger. You press the trigger only one times. Press it. First, you must touch the electrode to the workpiece. Lift it, the arc will be start. Touch, lift it, the arc will be start. Touch, lift it, the arc will be start. That's a, it's a very much comfortable function for taking some work pieces. So that's are from my side some use in the Comfort 2.0 panel that will be very helpful for your job. And now you will see after our theoretical side the Tetrix 230 in action. Just before we start welding, be sure to have the appropriate PPE. Welding gloves, welding helmet with correct shade lens, fume extraction if in an enclosed area, and appropriate clothing. Long sleeve shirt, long pants and enclosed shoes. Today we are using welding grade argon as a shielding gas, using 2.4 millimetre zirconiated tungsten. We'll be laying down a 3 millimetre weld on 3 millimeter aluminium plate. Here you can see we've left a nice clean fillet weld. Thank you for watching, I hope you found it informative. Working with gas is as easy as BOC. Come and see us in store, check us out online.